Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today we have another knowledge video about whiskey and this time we're looking at the age of whiskey throughout the years and the question is are the sold whiskies becoming older or are they becoming younger hmm. and we're gonna have a look at it and is this a statistic video again so we're looking at a statistic and if you want to do your own statistic go to whiskey.com go into the whiskey database click on charts and make your own statistic and find out some interesting facts and share them on social media yeah or just send them to me and i will talk about them yeah let's have a look at the statistics yeah it's uh age versus bottling year and the bottling year gives you a constriction that you have uh, only whiskies with bottling years and the age gives you the constriction that you have only whiskies with age so this whiskey here on my cask the glenlivet founders reserve it's no age statement whiskey it's totally ignored in this diagram so the rise of the uh no age statement whiskies is not considered here we're only looking at age statement whiskies okay um the next thing that we have as a constriction is the age um uh, the age is only looked at with the variance of the bottle. So um, how many bottlings are out there? It doesn't matter how much these old or new whiskies are selling. So if we have a shift from a normal whiskey that is selling very high to a younger whiskey that is then selling very high, there is no difference in this diagram. It's only about how many bottlings the uh, distributors and uh, producers uh, release that have an age statement and a bottling year so the next thing is the average is again the arithmetic mean and due to uh, a shortage of data before the uh, 1950, uh, 1995 uh, we only look at data behind that so you, we can say the data after 1995 we can look at and it's really relevant after 2000 yeah and the very end that steep fall um maybe it's true maybe it's not true maybe it's a uh, statistical anonym anonymously at the very end i don't know maybe so um we've talked about cons uh, talked about constrictions what this diagram is showing now we're talking about correlation and the correlation shows that we have a slight fall of age from about 17 18 years down to about 16 years wow so um this is the correlation and within these constrictions we can pretty much with confidence say this is true and now the question is why is that and now we come to causality i can't prove it but we can speculate about it so the first speculation of causality is um uh, because uh, they are releasing younger whiskies onto the market be just because they don't have the older ones they don't have the stock they didn't produce them uh, 18 years ago uh, with such a high output because they didn't think the outlook for the whiskey industry was that good so that's the first explanation second one is the people today are very yeah price sensitive and therefore or there is a more demand for price sensitive whiskies therefore the whiskey producers are releasing more and more bottlings that are of low age with a lower price label to satisfy that demand so cheap price cheap whiskey and it's going into the cheap direction the third one is actually a bit more tricky it says the variance of whiskies within the uh, lower age spectrum is uh, going a bit broader therefore it just looks like there is more uh, younger whiskey on the market but the older whiskey is just blended in together and therefore we don't see that there is more older whiskey on the market this is because of the constriction of we don't take into account the turnover but only the variance of bottles so maybe it is a bit misleading this diagram 
but within the constriction, it is true. So um, if you do have another explanation of causality of why this happens, please go into the comment section below, type in your wild theory, upvote any theory that you think is plausible and downvote anything that you think is just preposterous and nonsense. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to leave a comment and share this video with any mathematicians or statistical guys that you know and see you next time.